Where's Erica? How the hell should I know? She said she was coming here to see you, Hayward. Well, she's gone. And in case you're wondering, she didn't get what she came for. Well, maybe I'll just take a look around just to be sure. What? Wait, wait a minute. Are you sure you want to do this? There's only so many times your friend, Chief Hubbard, can ignore you flagrantly breaking into my home. You want to give him a call and test out your theory? You know, I'm getting more than just a little tired of you and your recent girlfriend turning my place into Grand Central Station. It's because we have questions, Hayward, about what the hell oh, you yeah. are up right, to. right, right. Those probing questions about the mysterious attack on Fusion's computers. Really not that mysterious when you consider the fact that we're dealing with a sociopathic control freak. You know, I'll like tell you, you what. Why did you get together with Erica, okay? She can fill you in on our little conversation during your pillow talk. Why don't you tell me right now? Okay, I have another suggestion. It would be so much more efficient if you and Erica would just get together, come here together, when you have all these accusations to throw around. We could turn it into a green thing. You can save on gas. You know what I'm trying to figure out? I'm trying to figure out your motive. Like, why <laughs> well, would you go after uh, fusion? Yeah, right. Well, you might want to be careful, Ryan. You don't want to hurt yourself with all that heavy mental lifting. When Amanda and Liza were here, they found a ripped-up tabloid covering me and Erica. That is fascinating. So why? Why are you so worked up about me and Erica, Hayward? Why? You know, maybe it's not Erica. Did you ever think of that? What are you saying? Maybe it's you. Maybe everything that's been going on is about you. Me? The disaster at Fusion and all the rest of it is because you're going after me? No, no, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying I did anything. I'm just trying to widen your perspective here. Or maybe you're trying to take the heat off yourself. <laughs> you know, you're so convinced that I'm fixating on Erica. I'm just saying, look at the possibilities. Well, you're no saint, Lavery, right? You've hurt people disappointed them. And you could say that about pretty much anybody in Pine Valley. Yeah, maybe. So you don't think you deserve an attack like this? Well, you see, I'd venture a guess that you're more deserving than most. After all the pain that you have caused the people right, of this town. Now, for once, this isn't about me, Ryan. You know, you're so self-righteous. Maybe it's time for you to put your own life under a magnifying My glass. My life doesn't have half. Greenlee. This is about Greenlee. You always hated that Greenlee and I were in love. You never thought she belonged with anybody other than Leo. Do you still resent me for that? Are you so twisted? that you can't let go of the past? You know, it's so funny that you would put it that way. Because apparently, it, it's so easy for you to let go of the past, Ryan, isn't it? They're gone. Hayward, Leo is gone, and Greenlee is gone. And the only reason that I let go is because I, if that's what this is about, then... Then what? Then you are even more pathetic than I thought. I have to apologize. I had no idea that he would go off on a tear like that. It wasn't a tear, it was the truth. Ryan's truth. Well, I'm sorry you had to hear it. I'm not. I needed to hear it. I needed to hear that he's let go of me in his heart, and he's fine with that, he's done with me. Because now it's easy. Now I'm really done with him. Everything Ryan said, about not living in the past, about moving on. I, 
I knew it was probably true, but I couldn't fully believe that he would... You know, I could never hear those words. Yeah, those are... Those are pretty harsh words. The thing is, I, I couldn't imagine it before, but now I don't have to. I heard it. I heard him say it. What he thinks and feels is seared into my brain. I couldn't get rid of it even if I wanted to. But I don't want to. He was crystal clear. And I'm glad. Okay, I'm glad I walked in when I did. Greenlee, you have to remember that Ryan thought that no, don't, you... don't, 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 don't even go there. I know that he thought I was dead. I understand that part of him felt it was okay to move on. I could have lived with a few meaningless relationships, casual flings to ease the pain of losing me, but with Kendall, my best friend, and if that wasn't bad enough, now Erica, my worst enemy, and he let her take over my company while he was getting her in bed. I know you're in a lot of pain, Greenlee. It's gonna take more time. <laughs> I'm not sitting here dreaming about getting him back. Winning his heart away from the fabulous Erica Kane. All I want now is for him to hurt the way I hurt when I saw them together. I have to be streamlined. I know. And we don't have to pull it off by Valentine's Day either. Just getting it done is what's important. Oh, uh, we'll be done by Valentine's Day. Trust me. I already made a few calls while you were in the chapel. But for the moment, you're going to have to be on your own. I have to go to the police station. What for? I told Jesse that I would show up to give a statement as to why I, my fingerprints were all over that flash drive you used to crash Fusion. I'm sorry about that. If I hadn't been in so much pain, we would have taken the evidence with us. It's all right. I can handle it. But if I don't show up there pretty soon, Jesse's going to show up here. First Erica, then Ryan. The last thing I need is a cop snooping around. Who knows what traces I've already left. So when I'm done with the police station, I'll come back here and I'll help you with the wedding plans. You want this? I'm going to give it to you. You may be the only person who really understands me. Well, that's not too hard. I'm the only one who knows you're alive. For now. Greenlee, doing this for you, it means a lot to me. More than you know. I know. All right, look, don't panic. Just, just hide. I'm, I'm expecting something. Great. All right, come on in. Here, watch yourself. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just um, bring it down here to the coffee table, right? Okay. Thank you. Just uh, close that door for me, all right? Excellent. What's all this for? They're all for you. So while I'm gone, knock yourself out. Enjoy yourself. 